So you've decided to be a house sitter, okay? You've, you've gone through all the videos and you said, I can do this, but now you're ready to set up your profile. I'm gonna drop a few profile tips to make you present yourself really, really well and to stand up above the rest when you're setting yourself up in some of these apps like Trusted House Sitters. You'll thank me later. But hi, first, if you are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Janae. I'm the luxury vagabond in my late 40s. I quit my job, became a remote worker and an international luxury property house sitter. And now I come and I drop these little nuggets for you, for those of you that are trying to add more travel in your life. If you don't have pet experience and you still wanna be a house sitter, that's okay. It's, it's perfectly fine that you can start and you can build up your tolerance. So when it comes to your profile, say on trusted house sitters or other sites, your main focus of your profile is to let the homeowner get to know you through paper and to also hone in on these like key things that really matter to all homeowners. I don't care where they are, but if they are homeowner with a pet, they are going to be wanting to look for these things throughout your profile. Now, I'm going to tell you, I do the most on my profile. I'm not even lying. You don't have to do all these tips, but if you do these tips, it sets you above the rest. There are no questions asked. And literally, I tell you this, I treat my profile on Trusted House Sitters as if I am trying to get a job. Like, it's my LinkedIn profile. Do y'all hear me? I am serious about what I have in my profile. I'm going to share the tips with you today so that if you're new, you're setting up your profile, you don't know where to focus. Tips tips, tips for you today. The number one tip I give to new house sitters is that your profile should be about you, but it also needs to address three things consistently in the profile that every homeowner wants to see and every homeowner wants to know. I'm going to drop the list here. It's these three things. That's right. Every single homeowner wants to know that you're caring loving and responsible. doesn't matter what the sit is, what the pet is. They want to read that throughout your entire bio. So you want to make sure they feel that they can see that you're caring and, and you can show that you're caring in different ways. If you haven't cared for a pet, but you've cared for other things, or maybe you have a job where you care for people, those types of things show that you are caring. They want to know that you're a loving person. Their pet, of course, they want someone there to be like them, right? You're replacing the homeowner while they're away. They want to know that you are a loving person because they want their pet to continue to receive love while they're away. The last thing is responsible. They need to know when they're on vacation, you have it handled. And you need to make sure that they can read that in your profile. It can be from your work history. It can be from your volunteer experience. You need to make sure that they know that you are very responsible and they have no problems with you in their home, taking care of their pet and all of their priceless things. Now, I have a little tip for those of you that want to be a house sitter, but you don't have pets. Like I personally don't have pets. I grew up with pets, but I don't have pets currently. I'm still a very effective house sitter. And if you're in the same category, there's a few ways that you can put that pet experience on there or find a way to incorporate, you know, like, hey, I'm still a good sitter, even though I don't own my own pet. Number one is mention how you grew up with pets. Number two, you can mention how you've cared for a friend's pet. If you have friends or neighbors and you've cared for their pet, you can get a little bit of experience by volunteering at a shelter or something like that if you really feel like, uh, you need to get used to being around animals and animals need to get used to being around you. You can volunteer your time at a local shelter. When it comes to your character reference, you definitely want to get someone that's going to rave about you. Now, I know that people say, if you have no one else, you can get someone in your family to write the character reference. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I, on the other hand, prefer if you get someone else besides family that would love to rave about you because that way it's another stranger showing the house homeowner that they can build that community, that, that connection with you. You know how we typically think that family have bias, like family think that we're awesome and it's so easy for them to tell, tell everyone how awesome we are. It, it holds a little bit more weight if you have somebody else that thinks that you are that fabulous and can write your character reference. If you don't use a family member, that's fine. I'm not saying don't do that, but if you have the option, you have a good friend, even somebody you've worked with, someone you've provided services to, 
and they can really talk about, of course, weaving in again, weaving in that like caring and responsible in the character reference. That's what we want. That's both. When it comes to pictures on your profile, now the tips I'm giving you now can be used for any platform, but I'm really walking through it mentally, Trusted House Sitters, because that is the site that I am on. So when it comes to pictures for your profile, Trusted House Sitters allows you to have a main picture and then I think up to 12 pictures additionally on your profile. If you are brand new, make sure that your headshot is super friendly. I'm not saying it has to be perfect. It's not a headshot for a job. This is a like casual, I am a friendly person type photo. Ideally, it would be a photo of you smiling to make sure you show that you are friendly. The picture does not need to be with a pet. So don't worry about that. Just take a good picture of yourself and some nice natural light somewhere of you smiling that shows I am friendly. Okay. Um, also, your additional pictures that you can load if you are brand new to house sitting and you don't have pictures with a pet, you have two options. Number one, borrow somebody else's pet. Borrow your neighbor's pet or your friend down the street, whoever. Say, can I take a picture with your cat, dog, whatever, turtle, whatever, for my profile? You only need one or two pictures. That's a way to incorporate like the I have been around pet feeling in your profile. And then the rest of the the rest of the pictures you can just fill in with things that you like to do. Um, maybe pictures of, uh, if you're a volunteer, pictures of you volunteering. If there are things that you like to do to be active, like say you like to hike and things like that, include a few pictures of that in your profile as well, because homeowners will look at that and they'll be like, oh, that's great. I really want a house sitter that is active, like I am active, because maybe my dog really likes to get out for long walks or maybe, you know, those types of things. They want someone that's going to mirror how much time and energy um, that their pet is expecting like on a daily basis. And so the fact that you're like fit and you're active and you like to hike or do types of things, that's a good thing. They would enjoy that. They would include that in your profile pictures as well. Now I have a few, two additional, I call them extra credit because I told y'all, <laughs> I do extra, I do extra. You don't have to do these, but these are like nice things to do to make you pop, make you pop a little bit more. Extra credit. So extra credit for your profile would be, you know, that headshot I told you to take. Extra credit would be for it to have a really nice background, meaning a solid color so that your picture for the homeowners when they're looking through all the local sitters Instead of just faces, they see a face with maybe a yellow background or a face with a bright blue background, something that catches their eye. That's extra credit, not necessarily needed. If you have Canva, the free version of Canva, you can import your nice friendly headshot. You can remove the background and put a nice bright color. It's also a good way to add a background if you don't really have a great background and you're in your house. Again, this is extra credit, not at all necessary. This is Janae being extra. This is Janae being Janae. I'm giving you the tips of what I do that has led me to get all luxury sets, okay? Another extra credit is to make sure you have a catchy headline. So you have your profile pic, and then next to it is going to be a headline. A lot of the headlines are pretty similar. They're like loving, caring couple, traveling the world looking to take care of pets or a uh, wonderful uh, solo nomad looking to care for pets along the way, those types of things that like nice little headline. But if you have some creativity, um, sure you can, you know, there's a limited amount of space, but use your creativity for that, for that little catch line, that tagline. Mine used to say, it's now changed, but mine used to say corporate America captive looking for a house with loving pets for sabbatical something like that. What I'm saying is use your creativity and your tagline. It can make you stand out from all the rest of the like loving, caring couple, that type of thing. Again, is it necessary for you to do that? It is not. But if you want to be extra and get extra credit, then do that just like I did. Now you have tips for your profile. And if you need to continue and you want help on your interview, I have a video for you next. Make sure you to watch that here. 
So these tips are have been beneficial for me. They work. They have been verified by me, myself and I. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you can keep finding more videos and get more information from me all about house sitting and other things on your life upgrade. See you next time.